Hello brothers and sisters. After two years of experience, I finally decided to make a review for the people who want to know whether to buy this game or not. I'll talk about all the main features and the gameplay aspects that you should consider. I paid $40 to buy this game and I got as much as $40 for the fun only in the alpha days. I never regret and I will never regret buying this game and I truly loved it. Especially when I was playing with my friends, it was fun because it was a new experience for us. The first her herd of zombies we fought, the first encounter with the other players, the ups and downs of trusting someone, all were new experience for us. The devs were active and reasonable, they released almost like 2 or 3 pets a week. Guns had values when we found them, snipers were extremely rare, good loots were everywhere, you never had to use the marketplace. That was the good old days we can say. Despite all the bugs and glitches, it was still fun. But those days are long gone and never to be returned. That was the history part of the game. Now let's see the current state of the game. Hackers are everywhere. They are literally everywhere. If you want a PvP, you'll get hacked 50% of the time as a minimum. Hacks like ESP, it's an abbreviation for extremely skilled player. I'm just joking. It's, it's an abbreviation for extra sensory perception, which will allow you to see where other players are and, are and how far they are. Hacks like aimbot which headshots your opponent from miles away. Hacks like no clipping through building and flying. Making them just makes the game look like a joke. It's a hacker paradise. You know why? Because if you wanna hack in the game then this game is for you because the anti-cheat is not doing its work. Or if it does even to probably ban the hackers after a week or two. And that's only so if people report them. Which they'll, they'll probably kill you 10 times before they even get banned or try they're trying to get them banned. Sometimes they also ban legit people and make them want to quit the game instead of banning the hackers themselves. I really blame the community more than I blame Hammerpoint. If no one hacks then we don't even need an anti-cheat system but there are always those people. The uh, duping on the other side destroys the game. There are people who dupe and have like thousands of snipers and mags and they are selling them to the other people. Which will occasionally destroy the game and they do ban dupers from time to time on the duping way. But they can never stop them. Glitches have always been part of the game. Glitches like the aim glitch which when you aim at someone your aim just goes crazy and randomly picks an area at to be aimed at. These, uh, this this gl glitch has been reported hundreds of times and up to this date right now when I'm making this video it's not fixed. Also the, another glitch well, that have been reported hundreds of times is the locker glitch. When you go behind a locker you become invincible. Some of the characters that they may just clip through their shirts and clothes and the items that you put on them. This has been reported since the alpha days and it's still not fixed. But yet again, there are just some examples. These are just examples of hundreds of more glitches that I'm not going to talk about. Because uh, they haven't fixed these. How come they will fix those? And now for zombies. Some of you might say, you're a PvPer. How come you know anything about zombies? Well, let's get started. The survival zombie apocalypse game as they promised. This game is a survival game but only for your first week. When you come to know that the loot is not worth your time and zombies are boring to kill because all you have to do is to hit them in the head. They have only one hit animation, all of them only one. You can't push them and make them fall. You can't see any kinds of zombies except those who can walk. Pretty much it becomes a routine how you kill them. Then it gets boring. After this, you'll become a PvPer and stop even looking at the zombies or the survival items that you need, such as water and food, because the characters die quickly. There goes the zombie survival game, a huge battlefield map instead of a survival game, all because you lost interest in killing the zombies. Instead of fixing the zombies and adding new kinds like crawlers and some new types that look different and require different tactics to kill, they added buggy sprinters that make you hate killing zombies even more. They will just keep coming at you no matter where you shoot them, except the head. This is not just hammer point, but even the most powerful companies can never make zombies faster than human, be human beings because of the animation that the physical human body can handle. They added super zombies. At first a good idea, but let's see how boring it is and how it looks when you fight one. Horrible, isn't it? 
Just a bigger version of the normal zombies that require more of your hard-earned loot to kill. And one last thing about the zombies I want to talk about is the hit area. It's absolutely shit and needs to be fixed. Look at this example. I swing my hatchet straight at the zombie set and I get body. It's ridiculous. <laughs> Guns, a huge part of the game if not the biggest, is getting worse and worse after each patch. The accuracy of the guns is horrible and some of them are far more superior to some others. If you're fully geared, then you can tank a full standard without a problem. Of course, if you bought meds from the marketplace. Almost all the guns take standards that shows how lazy devs are. Instead of making guns with their own stats, looks and ammo type, they just copy paste what's already there. Snipers are as common as a rare assault rifle nowadays because of the dupes and the messed up spawns. There was a time when you could find about 10 snipers a day. Those times were good, but now it's horrible. Shotguns are not like pistols when you fight a guy who's fully geared. They're not like snipers when you fight a guy who has no armor. How and why? Buy armor in the marketplace. Buy hardened. I'm saying this because you can get the needs to get hardened much easier when you use the marketplace. And you'll have a 75% increase of overall health. And I did a test about it and it's on my channel if you don't believe me. 75% more advantage over someone who's not paying for items pretty much makes the game pay to win, doesn't it? The game is becoming a camping game for those reasons. You're not you are probably going to get shotgun in the face when you enter a house because of first oh people with their heart in and armor. Second is you have third person, you can just camp a corner. Third, they have no choice but to camp because they don't pay to win the most of the people who camp. And last, their orders are just a group of armor people camping a room because they don't want to lose their items that they paid for. Patches, the only thing that makes communities really excited, are unfortunately something that IS system is bad in. Definitely. After weeks of waiting, they release a patch that fixes something and breaks another. The next time, the same thing happens. Fix and break. This goes on and on. They added helmet pop-outs and look what it did to the game. People don't take damage when you headshot them. Headshot, oh no God, damage. Another patch, they added cars and look how it is after the testing period. This is after the testing period, guys. After that, they implemented it in all the servers. They added a new map which is completely empty with only a big city and some mini cities. Up until now I haven't seen a single thing added to the map, which is after about 3 months. Which is also called California, their big project. I just mentioned some of the biggest patches guys, they had that uh, took at least a month for them to make. I'm not even going to talk about other patches because it's just painful. The game engine. The base that everything else is based on is horrible. You know why? Because I get more frames on Battlefield than I get on ISS. Even though Battlefield looks 100 times better than ISS. I'm not telling them to be like Battlefield, which is made by a AAA company, but let's just be let logic and reason rule. The frames per second that I get on this engine are way below the beauty of the engine. The textures are just horrible. The engine really started lagging when they implemented overgrowth. Since then, I'm not happy about ISS. Most of the attachments are useless as they don't hit where you aim, and most of the guns have the same shitty iron sights. Have a look at them yourself, guys. Okay, guys, so across 12 guns, they have three different kind of iron sights. Let, let's, let's see for ourselves. Look at this. Same goddamn iron sight. It's like, it's so hard for them to make a new iron sight. Now ha look at this, there's that circle at the end, but when I put the G36, is there still that circle, but the first half of the iron side is still the same. On a freaking Mosin, it's the same without the circle at the end. I mean, come on, MP5 and a Mosin. A Mosin, a freaking rank 1 gun in World War II, have the same iron side as an MP5. M4, M16, 4 semi. Sada, Honey Badger, same iron side guys. Now let's see how horrible the attachments are. This is a Honey Badger, I'm gonna shoot and see if it's if it's shootable and try to kill someone just because of the flash. You can't see shit with on first person. 
look you can't see it it's just impossible but when you go third person it's much easier which makes you use the third person and just camp the shit out of somewhere now for the iron sights uh for the attachments look out look where my aim is and where the bullet hits it's not shooting at where i'm aiming this is a huge accuracy problem that i really want them to fix money 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 hammer point definitely needs money to keep the game running but everything have to have a balance right i'll show you guys how this game can be paid to win and how it is showing what you can do with real money let's see what you can do with real money first you can go and buy some gc five dollar equal to 700 gc okay that's what you can do then you can revive your character for only what Let's see. 39 GC per revive or you have to wait 20 minutes. Then you can rename your character with the GC. For only 1600 GC now. Let's see how much that is. 1600. Yep, you can rename your guy for $10. <laughs> then you can go and get premium. Which will cost you 1850 GC for 30 days. You'll get premium loot. That's basically it. Then you can pay for the items that degrade. They added item degradation right now. So if you use it, it will go down. And after that, all you gotta do is to go to a bench or come here and buy some premium repair kits for your items. Yes. Ah. <sighs> So much for item degradation, they say. Also, they added stronghold maps where you can farm your own fruit. All you gotta do is to either go and loot for hours to get some harvesting tools. Or you can just come to this tab and buy a premium harvesting tool for only 75 GC. And what else? Also... I already made up my characters, but if you click on these slots, you'll be able to choose some characters and the rest of the characters you have to buy with GC as well. And you can also go and rent your own server. Let me see if I can rent a server. You can rent it for only a week for 2000. A um, 100 pop server for one month is 13,000. Let's see. How much is 8,000 for one month? For 50. 8,000 GC. $50 for a month for f um, 50 slots. So, if you feel like you're gonna get killed a lot on the other servers, all you gotta do is go and rent a server and get guns. Okay? You don't have to farm anything but guns because the rest you can buy. Over here we have all kinds of ammunition. You don't have to buy to find shit. All you have to do is come and buy. All kinds of melees. Premium melees. Frag grenades. Be a grenade machine. Katanas. Harvesting tool. Buy premium armor. Customizable shit. K-style MVGs. Premium military ruck. The helmets, just for the armor tab. Food, premium food. Premium everything is available to buy. Mets, all kinds of mets. Everything. The recipes for making items. You don't have to find them, all you have to do is to buy them. Attachments, hmm. Would you like a cup of tea, my lord? And also, guys, I'm gonna show you a real neat feature that they recently added. Okay now, guys, I'm gonna show you a brilliant feature that one of the dev devs implemented. He's definitely brilliant. All you have to do is to spawn him as a Bambi as a with a gun. And let's say you see two snipers over there and you want to kill them. A single honey badger won't do the job. So all you have to do is press F10. Boom, boy! You can access the marketplace in-game and buy whatever i'm gonna arm myself arm my guy just by pressing f10 and buying stuff all i had 
is a single gun. Let's see what we can do. I bought that. Let's buy a couple extra stanags. Okay, one should be enough. Mm, we'll just buy a premium melee weapon. Maybe a couple of grenades. Yes. And oh, we need armor, guys. Fighting snipers, we definitely need armor. What else do we need? Hmm. I'm gonna buy some food, so you know, I don't have this is not a survival game, man. All I have to do is to access the marketplace. Meds, let's buy some meds as well. Hmm. Repair kit, no, not that. Personal locker, buying, become invincible. Are you infected? Um, mm, let's buy them. I'm not gonna buy this, just you know, not to get infected. Buy Nox, forward grip, maybe. And boom, that spent, I spent about $60,000. And look what my guy has now. Unbelievable hammer point. You are truly amazing. Your devs are truly amazing developers. That they just want to uh, give the people a good game to play. Thank you so much, Hammer Point. Well, I got some suggestions for you, Hammer Point. And if you do this, hopefully the game will be better. But I don't really care if you do it or not. But I'm just going to say them. First, better than to cheat. If that doesn't work real life people monitoring the servers getting hackers all you have to do is to get a guy and let him monitor live the hype of servers and ban people right away because all you have to do is to go on those servers and you will definitely find someone hacking legitly hacking guys i mean about aim i'm talking about aimbot and no clip you will definitely find them Another thing, official forum section for glitch reporting and hacking reporting with daily fixes. We don't want to report something and get the fix after a month or two because that just means they're not looking at your forums. It's just there for saying it is there. Okay. Another thing, remove the sprinters that are buggy. You will never be able to implement a good sprinter nor any other company can. Another thing, performance in increase. If you want to do this, you have to remove overgrowth because the game was devastated by overgrowth and the lag that it gives. New kinds of zombies, crawlers, do something fun. Make zombies just not just laying on the ground. Make them like next to a wall sitting there and get up when you don't know if they're dead or not. Stuff like that. New tactics that we can use to kill them. As for the guns, we need dynamic crosshair, not just a stuck crosshair. We want attachments to be useful. I want to be able to shoot where I'm aiming, not around where I'm aiming. A fix for the snipers is to make them scopeless, remove all the spots in game and also in the marketplace and in our GIs. And replace the sniper spawns with scopes, scope spawns. This will just make the game like alpha days when there were snipers as rare as anything. Right now snipers are like Krugers everywhere. And an overall increase in gun damage. Accurate melee hits. I show you about how the melees were so bad. And they weren't hitting where they were supposed to do. Decrease armor and harden by 50% each. Meds. Not being able to put into quick slots. That's the only way to actually kill someone. And give us first person only servers. And remove the marketplace completely and replace it with uh, only wearable cosmetic items that won't give you protection. They're, they're just there for customizing your character. Make the loot spawn completely random. Don't make guns spawn only in the military places. Make it completely random and stop making the game pain to win. No server rentals. If you rent your own server, that means you can tar you can farm whatever you like. You gave us stronghold servers, thank you. But putting the harvesting tool in the marketplace... LOL! Remove item degradation, reviving and premium. 
Renaming cars for 1600 GC is absolutely ridiculous. Remove helmet pop-offs. We don't want to headshot people and just look at them as they don't take any damage. I either remove their cars or remove their windows so you can actually kill people when they run us over. And make attachments useful, please. After all, I didn't make this video to bash Hammer Point. I made it so they could they can wake up and know what they're doing is just a temporary profit. If they continue like this, they will be scarred for life and never survive another game that they make. I also made this video so people can know the truth about the game and how it feels when you play. I tried my best not to make things personal, but I had to use my experience to explain some things. Make sure that you like, comment, share and subscribe now. Please let me know in the section how your experience was. May God be with all of you.